Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for being that virtual reporter support um being able to resonate on so many different levels and know we have a lot in common even with us not even meeting knowing that our souls have you know tapped into each other in a beautiful way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or it's, uh, you're just telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or family or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life journey or even their soul purpose or soul path, uh, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this beautiful enchanting meditation it is just like it really has me feeling soulful like zen and it's truly beautiful it's called enhanced self-love uh, 432 hertz healing love energy cleanse positive vibe ancient fre frequent frequency music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about um, going through hey, um, Twin Flame 101, Hayoka is going through the stage of healing, seeing that the purpose behind it all. It is, you know, like I'm, I've always told y'all, there's always a pain behind your purpose. You know, look at things in a different perspective. You know, step back without emotions and see why things had to happen the way they happened. You know, there's a lot of times we get, you know, we get in our feelings and we feel like we are alone. Um, feeling like the world is punished us in one way or another you know there's a lot of times that um things we had to really see them really see them for what they were you know even though there's times where you try to understand why you know that these people do this to me why did I have to experience the things I had to experience and it's you know I still don't understand that but yet I do um there's a lot of things that has happened to us you know and there's times I've seen people I even was one of those types like where does where was God at when all this happened to me where was God at when all these things happened and it's just like you know, even though God has control over things, some things have to balance itself out. And it's like, not like God is like, oh, well, go over there and rape that child or go over there and murder that person. It's not about that. It's just like certain things is really dark that had to happen in our lives. Whether, you know, we already had, a, you know, a pact that we're only supposed to be here for a certain period of time, being able to be an impact in certain people's lives and go ahead and serve a different purpose the circle of life you know those those things are still up in the air and i'm still learning i'm still learning but when i can sit up here and look at all the things that have occurred in my life i was just like right before i did this video i was speaking to the universe and i said you know what you know I'm, i've been through some hell and back but i can really be appreciative uh, appreciated whatever how you say that word for the things that has occurred into my life because it really put meaning to the the purpose of pain you know, being able to experience those things and say, you know, be open to tell people the things that went on in my life, you know, being able to help others that are trying to find their way, trying to put understanding behind the trauma they have been exposed to, you know, uh, being able to get a connect with because it can really, you know, um, place you. I had to turn that down a little bit, uh, place you in a really dark place, you know, and it's just, it, it takes time. Like I tell my love bugs, it takes time. It's a daily process that you have to constantly go through to see, to be able to attach yourself away from the traumatic experience you have endured throughout your life, whether it was through adulthood, childhood, or even, you know, from your past lives. Cause a lot of times we're still carrying on that old energy from our past life. The, the things that has happened, the things we have done, you know, no, you know, no, no telling. We probably were like, 
you know, reservoir dogs in the last life, shooting up and killing up everybody. So we end up having to pay for that karma in this life. And you're just understand, trying to understand why did I have to, you know, get exposed to this? Why did I have to see these things? And it's like, you have to really look at the purpose behind everything and know that these things is taking you taking place into your life to allow you to heal on so many different levels being able to show you how much power you have instilled in yourself if you can recognize it within yourself because i tell people a lot of times people recognize that power within you and they hate you for it because they know they can't experience that even though they can too but people tend to get jealous off of that i've heard many people tell me they're like rosalyn if you can just see what i see when it comes to you because it's like you know, I was that person that joked around a lot. I always wanted to see people happy because I know what it felt like for me to be teased, for me to be constantly hurt. You know, people going out their way to hurt me. And I said, that's a sad situation for people to do. You know, I've had that happen throughout my life. And it's fine because it's like, you know, before all this came about, I will hold grudges. I mean, you could be dead in your grave, you know, been dead for like 20 years and I'm still holding that thing against you from what you did to me. And I'm just like, you know, Rosalind such and such died. I'm like, I don't care. Power to the people, whatever. I pray for that family and still be like, girl, you still mad at that? They dead. You can't do. I don't care. You know, but now it's just like when that happened, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm sad that that had to happen. You know, not. You, and not even holding a grudge towards somebody because that takes too much energy to be hold, holding that kind of anger in for somebody. Like, you know, I even have to coach myself, you know, in case if I have to see those people that, you know, were in my life that, you know, my, my mom's ex-husband, if I in, end up being, you know, where I have to encounter him again, which I know I will, you know, being able to stand up and say, you know, hey, how you doing? You know, don't even have to be, you know, in my attitude or in my feelings about that because that's allowing them to know things that they have done to me in my life has really still has that kind of hold on me and I'm like hell to the no <laughs> I got better things to be putting my energy in and worry about what you have done those are just insecurities they had to push out on me and I'm just pray for you and hope you can heal and just leave it at that you know and I really had to say thank you I'm glad I endured all these things because they allowed me to see the strength I've had in myself that spark of fire that just had to explode and say you, you know you can be that torch bearer for a lot of impasse they're coming towards your way and that's the beautiful thing about everything for me to be able people always told me bros you're so outspoken you know things like that and the way I you know I, I used to get in trouble with my bosses because I would they will always be trying to act like they were you know that person that they were better than everybody else and I would want to have to knock them back down to reality I'm like dude you put your pants on one leg at a time like I do they ain't nothing special about you they ain't special about me just because you got more digits in your pocket than I do you know you pose people uh you're supposed to treat the same people like my mom always told me you give the janitor the same respect as you give the ceo and that's it you know and that's it you know and it's just like you know people be looking at these celebrities and stuff like that and be seeing like they're superhuman and all that they just got more money in their pocket than you do that's it <laughs> other than that they still human they still got issues they still got flaws they can just pay to get theirs removed or you know just cover it up with something else but it's just all that whole point i can be grateful for my pain i can be grateful for the healing process i've been going through because i would have never knew what i was capable of until i had to experience that and that's the joy you know that's the true meaning behind healing through dealing with traumatic issues being able to know that you can heal from anything that has been placed in your life it's it's not going to be healed overnight you know i you know i can't put like you know i hate it when people give time limit off for grief like girl you know such and such been dead for like up 10 years and you still affect you don't know what kind of impact that had in somebody's life so it's just like when i tell people grief don't have an expiration date grief don't have a time limit on it it's just if that person's going to take that time to take that moment for themselves to heal do whatever has been placed in their life you know i can sit up here you know i still miss my mom my mom has been gone since 2005 i mean my mom had an oil and water relationship and if i can sit up here and tell you the things that i've seen my mom endure i just you know i had to thank god like i'm i'm glad she's through with all that suffering i said my mom had uh three or four tumors in her head 
to where it gave her constant headaches. She had this uh, disease called C. diff that where we had to wear biohazard suits just to go into the, you know, into the, in her room through her last month of transitioning where if we didn't have no suits on, we could like die from pooping to death. That's what kind of deadly disease she had on top of body cancer, on top of having fluid around the heart, had a stroke where she was paralyzed from one side, couldn't talk. All these different things. My mom's skin was falling off her back. I washed her back and her skin fell off. That, And I mean, I passed out and I begged God to take her pain away. I couldn't, you know, I, I mean, constantly have, having all these different antidepressants just to be able to sleep. And being able to tell my mom, you know, I, I, I mean, it was like that's when my empath kicked in because every pain my mom endured, I was enduring at the same time. I would have headaches to where it felt like my head was going to explode. My stomach would be all messed up because she was what she was going through with her sedative and, you know, all that body cancer and stuff like that. I experienced almost every ailment my mom went through and I would never wish that on my worst enemy. And being able to say that without crying, I mean, because I know I got peace in my heart. Because every day, you know, I went 150 miles round trip every single day to make sure my mom was taken care of. And I had to, you know, I stressed out about, you know, is anybody hurting my kids? Is anybody touching my kids? I had to leave them with my mom's church family. So it was like me taking care of my mom. You know, we were living in the outskirts of uh, Missouri. I had to go to Springfield every single day <laughs> every single day and it was like where she was at in the ICU you're only able to be there for two hours but they allowed me to be up there for six to seven hours I would sing my mom to sleep I would you know do her hair for her what little hair she had because they had to put tubes in her head because of all the it trying to get that fluid off her brain but being able to give her manicures reading the bible to her I mean when nurses would see the connection me and my mom had you would have never known that me and my mom had an oil and water relationship you know and it was just like i cried every day and begged god to take that pain away from her i cried to the point where i was like <sighs> you know i fell asleep crying like the only time i could cry is when i knew my mom was asleep because i did not want her to you know see me upset like that and i mean the nurses i got them to be emotional because they've never seen a child you know, take care of their parent like that because there was people in ICU on that same, in that same unit. Their family lived in Springfield at that time and never came to visit their family like I did. And they were like, Rosalind, how far are you coming? I was like, uh, 150 miles. It was like 75 miles there and back every day. I didn't get no sleep. The only time I got sleep is when I, when I laid my head on my mom and the hand she couldn't move. She just pat me to sleep like I was a little girl. So it's just like when I see all the things that my mom went through, being able to endure that, to be able to tell you that without any tears, you know, because that was a messed up. I mean, I had nightmares about that for a long time, being able to see that. I never that I was going to be a nurse after I seen what my mom went through. I said, there is no way in hell I would do that because it's like I would take that mess too personal, too personal. But being able to endure that. And knowing I was there for my mom, even though we had a really messed up relationship after the situation where her my, uh, her husband had, uh, had divorced her, you know, he played my mom against me. So, I mean, I would hate her for a lot of things that she had no control over because he was doing those things and blamed it on her. So it's just like a blessing when I can finally see things for what it's worth, for, you know, just tell my mom I'm still sorry. You know, even though I apologized to her before she died, I had that conscience clear. You know, when she left this world, she was okay. But it was a blessing because when she was transitioning to pass on, she came to me and was happy that I was able to take care of her. And she was so proud of me. And she would constantly watch over me. You know, that was the blessing. But being able to know that you can endure so much things like that and be grateful for you to be able to experience that because that lets you know you have been a long way and you have conquered a lot. And whatever comes towards your life, it will not even make a dent make a dent in you if you allow yourself to be able to heal from those situations so be grateful for the situations that have been put into your life and know that you will heal it might take you a minute but you will heal through those and you're going to be grateful for everything that you have had to go through so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video um, i'm gonna give my um post notification shout out to i hope i pronounced your name right Key Kendall for kids. Um, much love to you as well as Robert Cole and the King Hayoka. Much love to you. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that
that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. And be wild.